Hey everybody, it's cooking with the auntie. It's cooking with the auntie. Yo, I am cooking a Thanksgiving dinner. I ain't gonna do it step by step. That's just me because it's Thanksgiving. I was over here with my Alexa on, jamming on my gospel music, and then I gotta cut it off to make a video. So I started my turkey meat for my greens. Okay, and my stove's smoking a little because something must be on that burner. Why am I pointing it towards, oh, because it was on me. But anyway, so I'm going to show you everything I'm making. I just showed y'all Auntie Paulette today because I don't always be feeling that mood when I'm cooking to do that hair, put on that wig, and put on a little makeup and look a little cutie cute but anyway <laughs> i love myself i don't care i look good when i don't dress up i look good so anyway now to the kitchen and the food my dinner is gonna be some greens cooked in turkey butts some chitlins i love chitlins and y'all seen i made a video before with me cleaning the chitlins. So you can go back on that. I don't want to keep repeating the same videos. And I'm trying to make my video shorter. Because people don't want to hear a whole long video. So I'm making greens. Chitlins. Potato salad. And Cornish hens. I got my little Cornish hens. And it's only me. I'm not inviting nobody over. I just feel like having a Thanksgiving. To on myself. Be myself. Do myself. So. I will tell step by step what I'm doing through the video and I will show y'all. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and happy Thanksgiving to every family out here. Love, love, love. Everybody love and enjoy your families. Okay, thanks for watching, Auntie Paulette. I'm cooking with Auntie Paulette, so. This is, you know what, this is the most that I'm making. I found these chitlins on sale. Like, chitlins is outrageous. They're like $25.35 for a bag, a bag of pre-clean. Man, I went to Walmart's at the beginning of this month. They had the bags for $8.99. I bought six bags, and I cleaned them. I cleaned them all throughout the month so that today... I would just have to put them on. I, re I put them back in the freezer, froze them. Hey, now I got this big old pot. That's 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 um six bags. That's six bags. So I got chitlin, the meat over here cooking, turkey butts for my greens. I'm gonna make dressing, the Cornish hens. And, and potato salad. That's it. I'm not really a cornbread person, but dressing is cornbread. And I lost weight. I will put a picture in my um, video so y'all can see. I lost 25 pounds, trying to lose 40 more. So, guys, keep watching. Happy Thanksgiving. This is our Thanksgiving meal. Like, share, and what? Like, share, and what? Subscribe. Everybody is back with cooking with the auntie. Cooking with the auntie. Okay, I'm in a very good mood today. So, yeah, I'm being silly and all of that. I feel good. I feel vibrant. Thank God Almighty for waking me up this morning. My life, my health, and my stress. Hallelujah. So, I'm using onion powder. Here go the Cornish hens. <laughs> and adult. And my favorite new season salt, Johnny's. And of course, some garlic powder. And I didn't grab the pepper. I do want some pepper on it. Pepper. Uh. I know I got a can of pepper, but I ain't gonna waste all that time to make y'all keep waiting. So that's the pat pie. So I even got my little apron on y'all because I done lost a little weight and I'm feeling good about it. 
Okay, so got the little corner chairs. Let him do his little dance. Let him do his little dance. We gonna eat you up. Thanksgiving is tomorrow. Thanksgiving is tomorrow. All right, we gonna stop being silly. And I'm gonna. Oh no, I'm not gonna start with that one. I like to do the powders first. Okay, kind of my cutting board is in my way. Okay, so we're gonna take the onion powder and we're gonna do them like a baby. Like you take giving a baby a lotion down and rub them up, rub your legs up. Put and then put some on the inside down in there so when it's steaming through, it can zoom up through that meat and be delicious. This is the onion powder. This ain't the garlic. I wouldn't be pouring this much garlic. Uh -uh -uh. I, I go heavies on my powder because so powder makes flavor. So that's the onion. I'm going to go light on the garlic. Oh, not too much. I love garlic, though. I don't want to put so much. You should see when I make homemade garlic bread, it be woo, strong. Some adobe. Put a little you on the inside. Okay. Do the same thing. Okay. So I'll start this off at 350 in the oven. But once it's done cooked like good, I want to get, I like that little golden like it's been in a rotisserie. So I'm going to turn the temperature up to 400. Um, I think you would cook this at, it ain't hardly coming out. Believe me, I didn't put that much salt. Um, whew, my shoulder, my rotor cup is messed up. I gotta have surgery. And right, this side hurt. That up, the right arm hurt bad. But anyway. Okay, so we saw that Johnny season salt seemed like it got some um, pepper in it. But I'm gonna put some more pepper. Mm. I can't stand my hands dirty for too long. I wanted to hurry to get through the seasons, but I had to wash my hands. <laughs> so a little pepper. Mm. Mm. Ooh, that's a lot. Okay, turn your butt over. Okay. So do y'all see that? I am going to put them in the oven on 350. It is five minutes to seven. I will cook them on 350 till seven, till eight o'clock. And then I'll turn the oven up to 400 and let to cook more but we will show you okay that's our corner cheese going in thanksgiving dinner y'all yummy i'm gonna cover it with some little aluminum foil cut the oven on 350 bake 350 start put some aluminum foil over these jokers so they the juice of be nice and juicy inside. All right. Keep watching, like, share, and what? Subscribe. We'll put these in the oven. Uh oh. We'll put them in the oven, and we'll be back. Watch more of Thanksgiving with Auntie Paulette. Okay, guys. 
like, share, and what? Subscribe. Hey, Bob it's your Bob too. I'm calling you. I'm in good spirits. I know that you're cooking. You should have been my child because we do the same things. But I just said I'm going to make you this video. I'm cooking. I'm busy. I don't got time to talk on the phone either. I love you. I'm making my Thanksgiving meal. You, my daughter-in-law, and my grandbaby have a very happy Thanksgiving. And God bless you for feeding all the people you're going to feed. I love you. All right, I do not own the rights to the music in the back. I didn't want to stop my little music. It sounds good. So I have cut up celery, some orange bell pepper, some green pepper, pepper um, some green, and the onion. Now this is the <coughs> this is the um, stuff I gotta chop up for the dressing. So I'm only making a little pan of dressing because, um, like I said, it's just me. I don't want to be eating this for a week. Maybe a couple of days, but not a week. So, I got to cut that up. I have a chopper, so I'm not going to see the go to. But, um, I don't know who, um, I don't know who really measures what they do. But I'm going to use a bag of this cornbread stuffing by Pexter's Farm. I'm going to toast, I use wheat bread, so I'm going to toast um, about six slices of wheat bread. I'm crumbling them up with this. I'm going to put, I'm going to put the celery and the uh, onion, bell peppers and sal celery, bell peppers and onions inside. I'm going to put onion powder, garlic powder, I'm going to use poultry seasoning and sage. And I'm going to use some pepper and salt. And I'm going to use two eggs in this recipe. And I'm going to stir it up. I'm going to use chicken broth. I bought some broth to put it in because I'm not making a turkey. I'm making corn and shins. So I'm going to use chicken broth. And that is what I will leave all my ingredients in the comments, in the description, whatever you want to call it. So Auntie Paulette is going to do that. I'm not going to make y'all watch while I'm doing every little step. I got a chopper. I ain't got to sit here and cut, cut, cut. So we'll be back with Cooking with the Auntie. Cooking with the Auntie. Auntie Paulette. All right, guys, I'll be back with the next step on the dressing. Hey, back with Cooking with Auntie pa Hey, guys, back with Cooking with Auntie Paulette. So I cut up all the celery, the onions, and the bell pepper. That's for the dressing. Now I've cut up a bunch of potatoes, and I got to cut some more onion for my potato salad. And everything's still cooking. I have some turkey um, neck in my freezer. I'm making that for some more broth. The turkey tails are still cooking in there. The chitlins are still cooking in there. And, oh wow, I cooked the, um, the, the corn and shins longer than I said. I cooked them for two hours just to cook. Oh, wow, and they not even done. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, whoo, it's hot. Whoo, it's hot, it's not done all the way, but what I'm gonna do is take this little foil off. Well, I hate when it takes my skin off. This took a little piece. So it's a lot of juice in it. So now, I had it on 350. Now I'm going to turn it up to 400. So I'm going to turn the oven up, bake, uh, 400. And 
and start. Okay, so I say 310 because it's got to get up to 400. Um, so I'm still cooking. So I'm going to make the potato salad next, but I'm making a dressing too. Guys, just keep watching. Cooking with Auntie Colette. Like, share, and subscribe. I'm trying to watch The Masked Singer. I was listening to my gospel music and cooking. So I really didn't want to not give y'all a video for the holiday. All right, guys. Like, share, and subscribe. Cooking with the auntie. Cooking with the auntie. Auntie Paulette. Okay, guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Cha-ching. Hey, guys. Cooking with auntie Paulette again. Okay, so I got my corn. I mean, my sliced bread here. That's what I'm going to put in my dressing. I use. I'm going to crumble them up. I'm going to use. The pasta fried cornbread classic stuffing. I'm gonna use sage. I'm gonna use poultry, onion powder, black pepper, and salt. Or maybe I won't use salt because the broth has the chicken broth has salt in it. And what else got salt in it that I gotta put in it? The cream of chicken probably got salt in it. So I got two cans of cream of chicken, the chicken broth, plus I got broth in the pot over there. Um, I'm gonna mix that up. And I don't know how much to tell you of the ingredients cause I, I shake and I pour and I taste to see how much season. And also I got three five pieces of sliced bread wheat bread the bag of cornbread stuffing the chicken broth the two cans of cream of chicken and i'm going to use three eggs and i'm going to get that all mixed up and guys we'll be back i got the vegetables over here um caramelizing the bell pepper, the onion, and the celery. And I'll be back to show you the next step to making good old Southern dressing. Okay, guys, don't forget, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. Hey, guys, back to cooking with Auntie Paulette. So I have six slices of honey wheat toast. And I told you I'm gonna mix this. My, I, 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 I um, saute the onions, bell peppers, and celery. So now I am gonna mix this. I hope you guys can see, cause I gotta, I gotta open this bag real quick. I'm going to pour in about half of the bag. Well, I'm pouring the whole bag. <laughs> I'm pouring the whole bag because I already poured it. And I love dressing. As long as it's nice and moist where I can reheat it, I can eat dressing by itself. Then we're going to take these. And we're going to add them into the dressing mix
Okay, so I got that in there. I'm going to put my sage. I don't know how much. Actually, I'm going to take the whole top off because it's going to come out too slow. I kind of know. I, I just kind of know by what I pour in. Sage. Um, and that is rub it, rub it, say. I don't know what made me get that. I don't know. And then poultry season. And I'll put more because I'm going to taste what's going on. I'm going to put my three eggs. I guarantee you I ain't gonna get no shell. I know just how to crack it. <laughs> I done worked in every restaurant you could name. Uh-oh. I might have odd. No, no, no. Shell gonna go in that one. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Oh, Lord have mercy. Jesus. I have to put the thing in there. Okay, come on, you can't get that one little shell. I got it. I got that one shell. Ain't no shell gonna go in there, see? Told you. I'm a pro. One more. I didn't hit it hard. That's what happened. I didn't hit it hard. I, I tried to open my drawer to hit it hard. You hit it hard, see? There it go. No shells. Okay, so I got the egg in there. I'm gonna pour some of this broth, cooking from the meat that's in there. I'm gonna put more of it, but I'm gonna put some of this ch chicken broth. Oh my goodness. I can't even get it. Open. Wow, I can't even do the open. What a knife. So I'm gonna pour this chicken broth in there. Put a lot. If you want it nice and moist. Okay. Then I'm opening a cream of chicken and put it aside, but I need two hands for that, two cans of cream of chicken, and I'll be back. Like, share, subscribe. Back cooking with Auntie Paulette. Back with cooking with the Auntie. Cooking with the Auntie. So the dressing, I done got it all stirred up, and y'all know I taste a little bit. I swear, I have never made good dressing. I am not a good cook in everything. There are some things I look for other people to teach me. But I watched my auntie make it, and I said, you know what you never do? You just use the cornbread, and you don't put no bread with it. And I used that can of chicken cream of chicken like she did, and I put some eggs in it. Man, this dressing is banging. Now all I got to do is put it in the pan and bake it. And ta-da! It's on and popping! All right, guys. The next thing will be the potato salad. I'll be back. Hey, guys. Cookie with Auntie Paula. So now I got the dressing made. I'm going to put it in the oven and bake it for about... 35, 40 minutes. It may be longer, but that's the dresser. It's about to go in the oven. We're gonna check on the corner sheds. Okay, now I'm gonna burn myself again. So.
Let's pull this tray out. Oh, so the Cornish hands look nice. Looks like I need to base them a little. That's the Cornish hands. I'm gonna take them out for a minute because I'm gonna have to rewarm them tomorrow. It's the day before this is Thanksgiving Eve. I'm gonna leave it on 400 to bake that. And we'll be back. Okay, now the potatoes are ready for the potato salad. The onions and stuff are in there. I put onions and bell pepper. That's all I put in there. I'll pour the potatoes in there. I'm going to chop up the three eggs, mix it with the potato salad, and in the potato salad, I am going to add mayonnaise, salt and pepper to taste, the eggs, the celery, I mean, not the celery, the bell pepper and the onion, a little mustard, and some pickle relish, and we'll be back. Okay, back, guys, cooking with Auntie Puppet, so we got our potatoes in here. We got our little bit of bell pepper, more onion than the bell pepper. I chopped up the eggs, pouring them in. Pouring them in. And as I pour them in, uh oh. Sorry, guys. As I pour them in, I am going to get everything out of here for the egg. Pour them in. I am going to add some salt to taste. Some pepper. What did I do with the pepper shaker? Some pepper, pepper come out slow, so I took the top off. Some pepper. Um, I gotta get some relish. Some sweet pickle relish. We're gonna take a big scoop of the sweet pickle relish. Uh -oh. That ain't enough. I put a scoop like that. Uh, that's a little too much. Yeah, that was a little too much. The pickle relish. And I'm gonna add the mayonnaise. And I'm gonna whip it up. And then when I finish with it, I'm going to sprinkle it with paprika. Okay, guys. Like, share, subscribe. So I put the mayonnaise, the mustard, the um, sweet dill, I mean sweet relish. And I'm going to mix that up. And then when I top it, I'm going to top it with some paprika. We'll be back to show you the results. Hey, guys. So the potato salad is ready. Looks delicious. I'm going to sprinkle some paprika on top and refrigerate it. Okay, now we'll be back with when the dressing gets done and we'll finish. Oh, I got to put the greens on, so we'll show you that. All right, guys. So the corn, the, the dressing is still cooking. It's not done enough yet because I stuffed the spoon in it, so it's not done. But it is looking delicious. Let's see how everything is going. The chitlins are still cooking. Uh, uh, uh. We gonna stir them. I know a lot of people talking about, ew, I love them. I don't care what you tell me about them. You ain't gonna see no grit and no grime in mine because I'll be cleaning them. It took me, took me the whole month to do 60 pounds. I did two every clean two of them um, every week till Thanksgiving. Greens cooking. 
<sighs> okay guys, be back when everything's done. Hey everybody, it's cooking with Auntie Paula, so the dressing is gone. Done. <laughs> I was gonna say gone, but the dressing is done. And you see, I done took a big chunk out of it. It is so good. That's the first time I made good dressing. So, the chitterlings are still cooking. But they getting tender. The greens, they're done. The corner shins are done. The potato salad is in the refrigerator. And my stock back here is for the gravy. So I will finish up everything tomorrow. Everybody have a lovely night. I'm from Buffalo, New York. And it is 11.30 here. So I'm about to lay it down. In the morning, I'll get back up and finish cooking the meal. And I'll plate it up and show you guys. Guys, thanks for cooking with Auntie Paulette. And what? And what? Like, share, and what? Subscribe. Thank you for watching Cooking With Me on my Thanksgiving Day. Love, joy, peace. Everybody, love your family today. Thank God for waking us up when we wake up in the morning. Thank you for food, shelter, and everything. All right, guys. Good night. Hey everybody, it's Auntie Paula and I'm back. So, it's another day. This is Thanksgiving Day. All the food is done. The um, Cornish hens are done. The dressing is done. Y'all see where I ate? I ate that much last night. That dressing is so good that I was eating it last night. Didn't even wait for the day. But, I'm not having no company anyway. It's just for me. I made some gravy. I'll put that in the recipe the comments um in the description or whatever and my greens are done and uh the chitlins i like to froze the grease around it but the chitlins are done i gotta warm them up oh that's a lot of grease Ugh. but anyway I'm not making no cornbread because the dressing is cornbread to me. So, everybody have a happy Thanksgiving. Enjoy your family. And this is my potato salad. And I'll put everything I did in the description, as I said, because I know I'm not going to plate it up. By the time I plate it up and eat it, it'll be later. And you guys have a good day. And as I said, I'll show this. Enjoy simple pleasures. May God bless.